Hello again, and welcome back, cardboard crawlers of all locations. Thanks for joining us today. We are at the Cardboard Crawlers Outdoor Amphitheater. We are driving the Grizzly Works Gladiator recovery vehicle and the FJ-45. A lot of people seem to really like this rig. I love it. It runs great and it looks great. And uh, what more do you want from a toy car? So, yeah, just out here today cruising. We're going to take a little drive and try to get over to the new section. Obviously, I am hung up on a rock right off the bat. And I get twisted around here and let's just keep it going. Um... Yeah, so there's a fun little side hill right here. I was kind of trying to get into that anyway, but I didn't mean to get hung up on that rock like that. Hey, but, you know, it is what it is. It's just a car, a toy car out here. We're not going to break anything real big. You know, it's not like a one-to-one -one where you're just going to tear up an axle or... Who knows? You know, who knows? You usually just... Hopefully you just have a U-joint go out and move on, but build them strong and then they just last so well got a controller in that shot didn't even realize it till just now uh part of a new section here um gonna make some changes probably split those those logs in half and use them and then the upper granite section will be more like this lower section will have more of an entrance to it right now it's kind of limited um, I do take advantage of the gladiator size when she rolls up in there and you can see got a little backup and got the line up and boom boom just bump it just gotta bump it and then there's a couple of lines here which is fun it didn't you know it just I had to build it kind of retaining wall style where the lower rocks are holding up the upper rocks and then there just ended up being a secondary little drivable shelf <clears throat> can't really see it I need to maybe take a bigger like an overview shot hey if anyone out there in the RC community that ends up watching this or someone knows of someone that has CBDs that will work in the hot team racing brass portal axles straight out of China. Just, I mean, somebody's got to have something, you know? even if it's just Frankenstein together, if we got to order two different sets to make it all work. But, you know, someone let me know if it's out there. I really, really want CBDs. This truck would work a hundred times better if I could get my turning radius to be 10 degrees more and I think there's probably 20 degrees of turning radius that I'm leaving on the table because if you open it up with those dog bones in there I mean that truck carries a dog bone in its rack because it breaks axles so easily get up against a log like this and it just kind of sucks you uphill and I just kind of had to jiggle jiggle wiggle wiggle like your money does and here we go we'll get past it yeah there oh wheel came down on the rock here we are there you have it those Enjora 39 millimeter oil shocks doing their job letting it work we've got the silver springs on that so i think that's the it might be the heaviest spring but it, i think it's the medium spring is what those silver ones are on the enjoy shocks. so i'll have to open a new package and tell you um i'm not going to do that right this moment but i'll, I'll try to remember next time we put a car together with them think about what ones are what but I, usually silver is the mid gold's the heavy and black is the soft and I did have the blacks on here and then took them off and put the silvers on uh, just to improve the it's a little heavy of a body and it really did improve it I still haven't laid those front shocks back one hole yet and I was thinking about doing it before this outing 
and I just didn't want to. I had good light to go film, so hey, homie, had to stop and say hello and uh, tell him where we're going to go. We're not going to stay on this old dirt track right here. We're going to get back in the rocks. Right, right, right. So, yeah, FJ45 running like a beast. And, uh, you know, it is a little heavy. The, you know, I think my body painted up with the bed and the magnet mount, you know, everything. It's 80 grams, maybe, which is pretty heavy. Um, it's got a lot of paint on it. I could have done less paint. Um, probably got 10, 15 grams of paint on there. Probably could have done it with seven. Um, but whatever, right? Good times. Man, I need to put that other diff cover on there. I have one. I need to order some more too. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I did. I forgot. I missed that sale. I was busy uh, editing a video and uh, Monday came and went. So I'll just have to pay full price. Anyway, looking nice though right here. Looks good coming through there. Like I said, you got no turning radius. I can't turn any more left or right. You know, it's just I have it limited. But man, those Maz Designs uh, double star rings, shirt, the carbon ring shirt is look good on that thing coming through them rocks. I'll tell you what. And uh, yeah, the Grizzly Works recovery vehicle always, you know hitting hard doing a good job it's got a really good slick bottom it has a really good undercarriage um, from the way the Grizzly Works um, sliders really take up a, a lot of space and they're, they're angled just right they're not quite full boat sides but they have a little, whoa, a little boat side action to them um, they're real you know they're just a big flat pan that has a slight angle up and uh just in line or just above where the belly the skid plate is and uh so yeah uh, a little uh, skull out here trying to figure i get the spotter out and look at a line here the, the passenger wheel has to be up on that little crack you'll see it as the truck comes around the corner there's like a a line on that rock that your wheels have to be in or you'll just be up against that other rock all the time and never make it. Never's a long way between here and 3S power, but it's it's set up that way. Like that's the traction line. So it's fun to have little stuff like that on the course where you like this one where the passenger wheel wants to get down on that or the rear passenger is. You know, it stays down on that crack a minute, and that's how you make it through there. If it slips down inside, then you're, like, wedged. Yeah, yeah good times. Good look at this truck right up front there. And showing you that we're, like, slipping off here. This is, you know, drops you down into the... This is cliffside driving. This is the new area, so we're in, we're in it to win it. Having a good time with it, and, yep... Up, up, there it is. There it is. And get up, get up, yep. Shelf, shelf like system and some little V rock crack, you know. Oh, got up to the top of that and had a little mishap, it seems. So, and poor editing there. I didn't, I wouldn't usually leave that last little bit in there, but it, see, it shows you what happened. Truck fell over. We're gonna get the Grizzly Works uh, recovery rig over there as quickly as possible. Try not to be spilling fluids on the trail, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't want gas and, and, and old ice water and oil and hydro steer fluid in there. You know, you don't want all that on the ground. So there's not a lot of people on the trail or they could just flip that old dude right over. But uh, we gotta get the rig over here. So he had a little crawl to get to him and then he's got another little technical section right here where the, if the FJ would've just gone up this, he'd have been fine. But he went a little to the right and slipped just, you get off camera in this new dirt, new section. 
and you're in bad shape. So you gotta get it hooked up and pull it back over and see what teamwork makes the dream work here. All right, Grizzly works hitting hard. Boom, boom, a little tap of the throttle from the FJ driver and boom, back together. Here we go, see you later. Back on the trail and the I don't know what is going on here, but it ain't going to be good. Oh, luckily he landed on his wheels. And uh, here we go, just back up through the muck and the mire out of the lower part of the new section. Thankfully had some traction. Didn't have the cliff wall, didn't have to go back around too far. And just back into the the wheeling of it. it looks like the grizzly works has broke a limiting strap in the rear and uh so we'll take care of that this evening when we get back to camp uh, nothing to do it, it's we're not going too far back we're through the hard section for for the most part and um that thing's got enough suspension and it those limiting straps are very only slightly limited and the rear, it, w it would matter much more in the front if you're running front and rear limiters. Uh, the FJ runs neither. And that could just be another way to change the way that the front end sits. But I think it's moving the shocks is going to give me my ult. Because when once you put limiting straps on it, you are taking a little bit of the suspension out of it. Um, so... Uh, I kind of got jammed up. I needed to turn a little bit earlier right here, and I just didn't, so I had to do a little pivot move off the rock. And then pretty big step up right here, pretty big undercut, trying to get the sideways traction, and I just need to back up and kind of bump it, get a little different angle, and just bump it. Right? And it climbs and gets me through and up and out. And the FJ just taking a little bit different, harder line, so to speak. I mean, that undercut is tough. You know, those are 64 millimeter Chirax. Those, these 50, these 57s wouldn't cut it through there. So the 57s are on the uh, FJ and the 64s are on the Grizzly Works uh, recovery vehicle. And remember, check out Grizzly Works on Etsy. He's always... Uh, He's got a really great LCG kit, cheap for like your kids' rigs or anybody's rig. You know, they work great if you just have a stock chassis rail style rig and, and then you want something LCG in it. And that Grizzly Works uh, recovery vehicle is almost all the parts that he makes for that Gladiator, but except for the front bumper. Uh, yeah, I just have a, a metal. I, I Yeah. I broke his a couple of times just because that's a 600 gram, 550 gram rig that fell off the table a couple of times and smashed it. But got his rear bumper in, his slider kits in, his um, LCG kit in that rig. And uh, yeah, it runs awesome. The LCG kits, my, my nephews have them. I built, uh, you know, if you're going to build a, like a, a, you're not going to get a full LCG, like, rail kit and all that, like something from Maz or Mofo or Killer or the likes. Uh, dude, the $11, the 10 or 11 bucks for the Grizzly Works kit is the best thing going because it really does put your battery in the right location, Put your ESC towards the back, you know, gives you the option of doing that, gives you shock mounting options. And so, you know, it's the business. It really works super well and uh, durable at the same time. Like, I've, like I said, I had some table incidents in, Ta in Tahoe that was to concrete floor and all that business. And so I've broken a few different items, but he's always taking care of me. And, um, um, like the kids rigs and like the the yellow gladi or the yellow JLU that I built you know that's like the shop truck on the other side was for sale for a while but it's the shop truck over there dude it's the it's the greatest thing um, like my friend uh, Dustin his kids have it Dustin has one they all they all 
it all works out. Anyway, almost done for the day. Had a really good crawl session. Uh, thanks for listening. You know, I mean, I know that I can just drone on and on, but uh, right here, I'm I'm trying to get that purple wheel up up onto the flat of this rock, and right here, I think I get. I just push past. I just realize I can slip past, and then boom, my left comes up, my booty slips down, and here we go into the line, right? And uh, yeah, good, good times. Fun wheeling these little trucks. So glad I got into the hobby. So glad you're all a part of it. Appreciate each and every one of you. Remember, like, subscribe, share, comment if you want. I love the comments. And, um, yeah, y'all have a great Wednesday evening, and uh, we'll put another one out as soon as we can. Maybe another one tonight. Uh, nothing filmed yet, but could do. Have a great one. Peas and Trout, Cardboard Crawlers, out.